Hey, good morning, New Minds family, and good mornings, Facebook and YouTube and NewMinds.tv and all the interwebs. Listen, my name is Justin, and I want to say, of course, a, an awesome and amazing good morning to everybody. Okay, um, let me kick off our day of inspiration and announcements uh, with, <laughs> with a little bit of some good times and some good readings. We'll see. Okay, all right, so first of all, I was thinking last night, I was like, man, the thing about this whole, like the whole COVID outbreak that really impacts, I think, our daily lives, and this is not to not to turn the lens on ourselves, but it really magnifies all of our personality traits, all the things that we had prior to to the uh, to the outbreak. Now, what do I mean by that? So, I saw this post last night on Facebook that, man, you know who is also suffering out there are the the, the all the husbands. Who have said, "Yeah, I'll get to that project when I have time," because now you have some time. <laughs> but that got me thinking. Okay, yeah, man, there are people there that are truly suffering, and there are people that don't have their health, and of course, our hearts uh, go out to them. But yeah, it's this kind of it's this thought about, man, we're on this this river of life, and then all of a sudden, poof, we have teetered over the edge of a waterfall that has come along, and it's kind of thrown us off for a shock. So this morning I was reflecting on the words of a, of a wise doctor, and I won't read the whole passage to you, but I just wanted to use this as an example to talk about what is our normal right now. So again, we're kind of in a state that we're asking ourselves, man, if, if I'm a procrastinator, then that has been magnified. If I am someone who stays up late, then now that really has been magnified. I'm a really stay up late later. Give me a like or a thumbs up if that's you. Suddenly you find yourself staying up way later than you ever should have. Um, but there's also good things there too. So if you find that you and have always enjoyed learning and now this time has been blessed to you, suddenly you find yourself reading new passages or maybe diving into new online courses you haven't had a time for. But the question is, what is our new normal? And I think we're trying to figure that out. And so this passage from this wise doctor really spoke to me this morning. And it, uh, it's from Fox in Socks by, by Dr. Seuss. Um, now, what do I mean by that? Here's what I kind of realized as I was reading it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is me. So, all right, this is Fox, and that's Knox. And for the, for the sake of this metaphor, uh, Fox up here is life, and I am Knox. Knox is this guy who is like, you know, he's got it going on, he's in control, things are working out well, and then Fox is life. So as you kind of kick it off, he's like, you know, they're having a good time, right? So, you know, Knox is enjoying life. He's all sitting inside this box. Fox is over there in his socks. They're all having good times. Look, they're even jumping on each other. They're all laughing and having a great time. And then, again, I won't do the whole passage, don't worry, but it starts to get a little wonk and do. Well, not, not too bad, you know, the ups and downs of life. I'm talking about socks on Knox and Knox and Box and Fox and Socks and Box on Knox. And then you start all of a sudden, poof, out of nowhere. Right, seriously, out of nowhere. The very next page, you've got chicks with bricks. Chicks with bricks come, and chicks with blocks come, and chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Look, sir, look, sir, Mr. Knox, sir. Let's do tricks with bricks and blocks, sir. Let's do tricks with chicks and clocks, sir. First, I'll make a quick trick brick stack, and then I'll make a quick trick block stack. Hey, you can make a quick trick quick stack. So... That's what life did. Life came around, and suddenly, in the passage of this whole story, it's like, man, what about uh, chicks and bricks and clocks and clocks and blocks and blocks and chicks and bricks? And then uh, this poor guy, this poor guy over here, he's like, wait, 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 wait. Um, his first little part. Look at, look at that face. Look at that face. That's like shock. That is shock. So I don't know if that's where you're at in your life right now. You're still undergoing the shock part. Um, but here's what happens. So, story keeps going, and Mr. Knox is like, whoa, 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 hey, 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 that's tough. In fact, he even says right here, man, I'm having a hard time, I can't do this, I can't do that, Mr. Fox, sir. Uh, and he goes, oh, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, sir, which I don't, I don't know about your spiritual persuasion, but I've always liked the quote that, like, God won't give you more than you can handle, right? So, so life steps back a little bit comes back and says, don't worry, here's an easy one. And then, of course, kicks on to this whole part about Sue and Sue's socks. Okay, so life's going along, and you're Mr. Knox. Again, this, this, is, this is me here. 
And then you hit this spot where you kind of lose control. So here's, I see, so you've lost control, you've gone over the edge, and now you really have a choice because do you fall into disarray and breakdown? So here Mr. Knox goes, stop it, stop it. That's enough, sir. I can't say such silly stuff, sir. And so you've landed in this stage of disorganization and breakdown. And really the question becomes, how do you deal with that? And so that's, that's exactly where I'm at right now, which is why this passage spoke to me so clearly. Well, okay, so after having his little breakdown, Fox comes back and says, well then, very well then, Mr. Knox, sir, let's have a little talk about Tweedlebeals. Okay, so I don't know if you know this passage, so bear with me. All right, here we go. What do you know about Tweedlebeetles? Well, when Tweedlebeetles fight, it's called the Tweedlebeetle battle. And when they battle in a puddle, it's a Tweedlebeetle puddle battle. And when Tweedlebeetles battle with paddles in a puddle, they call it Tweedlebeetle puddle paddle battle. And when Beetles battle beetles in a puddle paddle battle, and the Beetles paddle bottles in a puddle in a bottle, they call a Tweedlebeetle bottle puddle paddle battle muddle. And... When beetles fight those battles in a bottle with their paddles and the bottles on a poodle and the poodles eating noodles, they call this a muddle puddle tweedle poodle beetle noodle bottle paddle battle. And so disorganization, disarray, and Mr. Knox is like, wait a minute, Mr. F Sox, Fox. This is the part where, again, I don't know if you're in that, that shock phase. I don't know if you're in that disorganization phase. Like, what is happening? Why are Tweedle Beetles battling in puddles and the puddle and the, and the bottles on the puddle and the puddles in the boodle? But watch what Mr. what Mr. Knox does. When a fox is in the bottle where the Tweedle Beetles battle and their paddles in a puddle on a noodle eating poodle, this is what they call. A Tweedle Beetle Noodle Poodle Bottled Paddled Muddled Duddled Fuddled Wuddled Fox in Socks, Sir. Fox in Socks, our game is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir. So, Mr. Knox in this story is an inspiration for me because he took that disarray and he shoved it in a bottle. <laughs> A.K.A. he reorganized his life. And that is half the fun, I believe, of what we're doing with this whole New Minds TV piece, is that uh, amidst all the, the craziness, we're looking for some kind of that shock phase of what's going on with life, uh, and you feel that life is standing on you. I don't know if you're in that disorganization phase, which is, man, I, I can't do this, I'm overwhelmed. Um, but I do want to say that the way that you get from that disorganization piece into having that control, now again, I'm working on this myself, so this is me talking to me here. The way that you get from that disorganization piece into having that piece of control is by taking, taking a breath, standing back, and saying, what do I actually have control over? And in the case of Fox and Socks, you saw Mr. Knox, who, <laughs> who was getting a runaround from life, uh, took... I saw people joining us. I'm going to go back to that page again. He took life, who was thrown on that, at all these beetle, beetle, battle, battle, battle bubbles, and he said, wait a second. And he, and he put life in a bottle. He took a breath, and he said, what do I actually have control over? And he had a chance to actually have some fun while doing it. So that's what we're doing with New Minds TV, taking that semblance of order, taking a little bit of control, uh, putting out content, we have a great lineup for you today. So many cool shows. Uh, if you're just joining us for the first time, or if you're if you're tuning in to figure out like what this is all about, so a couple things. Newminds.tv, N-U-M-I-N-D-S.tv, is a website where we host all of our videos. So not only are we on Facebook Live, but if you want to go back and watch any of this stuff or sharing this stuff, it's all on Newminds.tv, and that's all free. Um, and so we had been asked by teachers when we started this. Man, I want to share some of these with our students, but they don't have Facebook access. So, again, newminds.tv is a great way to do that. What are you going to find there? You're going to find uh, our daily schedule with all of the different shows. There is interactive STEAM lessons that are put on for kindergarten through second grade. There's an interactive STEAM lesson for third through fifth graders. There's uh, STEM in Espanol for emerging bilinguals, um, for dual language speakers, anyone who just wants to be immersed in the language. 
There are inspirational messages for parents in the Parent Power Hour. I'm not telling them in order. I'm telling them what's out there. Uh, Mr. Walter takes us around the world in a 3D globe. Just really, really cool stuff. Um, and Mr. Ben always has a great closing message for the day. And we'll also be digging up and sharing like PDFs of, of stuff that we have used over the past eight years from our vault. So I'll be doing that today, actually, at the 4 o'clock hour. So that's what we have going on today. Um, I hope that what we're doing provides you with resources, and I hope it gives you a chance to take a breath and say, what do I have control over? And something that you can actually use and uh, apply to your daily life. Well, thank you for our time today, and thank you for letting me read from the words of the wise Dr. Seuss. Um, guys, have an amazing day. I hope you can tell this comes from our, our real inspired learning, and our, our, what we love and what we share, because we know that this is our passion, and we're going to cultivate this passion until it becomes our talent. So, all right, guys, have an amazing day.